All right, today to my Buggy Masters fans, we're going to talk about the Idle Air Mixture Screw. And pretty much all of the modern buggies, or even the buggies from the last probably 10 years, the EPA has mandated that carburetor manufacturers make it to where we lowly people aren't allowed to make any adjustments to it. We, of course, don't like that. Just like we cut the screws off the bottom of the bowl when they took the, uh, the uh, screw heads off, we're going to defeat them on this little gadget here too. So if you look at the carburetor, here you see the part of the carburetor that goes into the uh, into the intake. And then this is the part where our uh, air, uh, air cleaner tube goes on. And this little guy here, go ahead and hold that. This little guy right here, where my finger's at, is the block off plate that they have put in there to prevent you from being able to get to the mixture screw. The problem is the EPA likes everything lean and sometimes the buggies don't go lean or don't like lean. So what I do, uh, if I'm out cleaning a carburetor like I am this one here, is while I've got it out of the machine, I stick it in a vise and I go ahead and I take that off so I can get to the mixture screw. That way when I put everything back together, if I want to make any adjustments, I can. And the way that we're going to do this is we're going to take our trusty drill, we're going to drill a hole into the center of that, and then we're going to use a screw to thread it into that brass fitting or plug, if you will, and then we're going to pluck it out. And what I do with mine is I actually do it in two stages. I use a smaller drill bit just so I can get a good center on it, and then I'll go to a slightly larger drill bit. And once I've got the holes drilled out, I'm going to put a screw in there and try to pluck it out. So let's see what kind of luck we get. Okay, so now as you can see in there, I've got a good center point on it, and I'm going to put my bigger bit in because uh, now I know it's not going to walk. And remember, try not to push too hard. You want to do hard enough that you can drill through it, but not so hard enough that when you get through it, that you're going to run into the mixture screw. Do as best you can. Okay, now I just felt a breakthrough, so I'm going to stop there. I'm going to back it out. And as you can see, if you look with the, the camera here, you can see I've just barely broke through on the uh, through the plug. So now we're going to get a screw and try to pluck it out of there. What I like to do is I've actually got this little screw here that I'm going to try to thread in there and try plucking it. I'll tell you, nine times out of ten, it doesn't come out easy to where you can do it by hand. But this will give me something that I can put some leverage on and then I can use my pliers. Sometimes if you look, you can see that that plug is in fact spinning. And that's how I know I've got a bite on it. So I'm going to get my little pliers here, and I'm going to turn, and I'm going to pull. And there it is. Now that we've got that out, we're going to set that to the side, my pile of junk I've got here. And as you can see, there's our mixture screw waiting for us to do whatever we want with it. Okay, and that's it. See you guys on the next video.